In this comic, we follow Wally West, who is now The Flash since Barry Allen has passed down the role. The Flash takes a different approach when dealing with his villains in this story. Despite his kind nature and forgiving spirit, he reaches a breaking point. This time, he doesn't seek death as punishment for a particular villain. Instead, he opts for something more bone-chilling, something scarier than even facing a daunting challenge. The story begins with Wally West, reflecting on his initial interactions with Bart Allen, who happens to be Barry's grandson. He tells how Bart transformed from a kid who used to eat boogers into a skilled speedster named Impulse. He is on track to become the next Flash, but tragedy strikes, ending Bart's journey prematurely. This unfortunate event propels Wally into a mission to apprehend Bart's killer. An hour prior to Bart's demise, Wally's extraordinary speed proves pivotal in saving his family from being consumed by the relentless speed force. Not only does he rescue his loved ones, but his family also has the chance to meet other superheroes. Everyone is having a good time, until Batman suddenly reports that Bart Allen has been murdered. The situation turns from apparent to definite when the next page shows Bart's lifeless body. Valerie and his grandmother Iris are by his side, crying. The rogues gallery is responsible and regrets their actions upon realizing they attacked a child. They try to blame Inertia, Bart's enemy clone, for manipulating them into this. Inertia, scared of consequences, tries to escape at lightning speed. Wally West intervenes. He chases Inertia down and delivers a swift blow. Then, Wally takes Inertia on a whirlwind journey around the globe to ensure justice is served. With each passing moment, Wally grows faster and stronger. Inertia has a realization while Wally chases him. He understands that he played a part in Bart's sad fate by accidentally taking away Bart's speed force energy when he escaped the speed force at the beginning of the story. This left Bart defenseless, explaining why he was easily caught by the rogues. Inertia's self-satisfied grin at this realization is incredibly foolish, as it only fuels Wally's anger further. While the Flash decides not to go so far as to end a life, he becomes more determined to make Inertia suffer. What comes next is darker than death itself. Although we don't know exactly what Wally does for a moment, we're taken forward in time to a scene where Wally is moving into a new home with his grandmother Iris. When Iris asks about Inertia's fate, Wally casually assures her that there's nothing to worry about. Wally has used a clever plan to strip Inertia of his power and ability to move. He's turned him into a living statue. This kind of poetic justice, where Inertia is conscious but can't move, shows that being humiliated can hurt even more than dying. In an unexpected twist, Inertia, who is defeated, is put on display in the Flash Museum. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the story. If you had a great time just like we did, remember to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We've got plenty more comics and even fan-made animations coming your way, so stay tuned. Until we meet again, take care and keep on exploring.